What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Trotter Brother, Dr. Blit, the darkest man. Around and today, guys, I'm here with Vengeful Warburg. Say hi to the people, man. What is good, bros and bras? And this is your boy, Vengeful Warburg, here. And like always, it is an immediate, instantaneous pleasure. And I know that sounds stupid. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> I know. I'm just so happy to be here because it's always fun chilling with my boy, though. Uh, no problem, man. It's always good to have you on the channel. So today, guys, we'll be talking about a very interesting topic, trying to look at it from a neutral point of view. And today's topic is going to be about whether it's too late to catch up to One Piece. And in terms of that, we mean, is it is One Piece at this point in the series too long? Because currently, we are on episode 779 like one piece and this is including the episode that just aired yesterday or for some people early in the morning today but um yeah venge like i got a question for you do okay. you feel like like it's too late to catch up to one piece like is there too many episodes do you need to have the time like like what was your experience catching up to one piece like how did it feel like you if you know what i mean oh, I take it away you. i got you it's all good so when i first started you know, like, because of the stuff that I've seen, because I saw little snippets of what was going on, and people would say this and that, that and this. And at first, I was more like in a hurry. Like, I was trying to rush through it. But then eventually, I decided to slow down a little bit. Because I think one of the things that I just wanted to do is I wanted to try to get it caught up as fast as possible. But I didn't find it to be a chore like here's how i did it me i did it in a weird way you know i would watch some of it then i would read some of it watch some of it and read some of it kind of like that and i actually skipped around some arcs a little bit um but for me it wasn't a chore it was actually very enjoyable because let me rephrase that. Actually, I didn't skip anything. I actually read. <laughs> it's like I would read some and then watch some. Read some, watch some. That's kind of like how I did it just to kind of like get myself caught up. Because you have some people say that the manga's better. And then one of the reasons why some other people would say the anime is better because you get to see it animated. And it just brings everything to life. And for me, it was a mix. I just wanted to see the differences between manga and anime. Obviously, the manga is more accurate. Um, anime, it's just that everything, the emotion, everything is there. You don't have to necessarily imagine it. You literally see it and make your own interpretations. So for me, it, it wasn't a chore. Like, I absolutely enjoyed it, and the reason why I enjoyed it is because of the fact that the series, out of all, out of the big three, I just feel as though One Piece is just the more original one, just because, you know, there's a lot more going on. Like, me, I, like, story is important to me, and for me, like, the story of One Piece is just so in-depth. I mean, like... Some people say that the story is a bit much it's, uh, and, you know, they drag stuff on too much. But that's a part of creating more of an engaging story. And I will save it there because I got some other stuff that I'll share later. So, take it away. Yeah, I, I totally see where you're coming from. Like, when I caught up to One Piece, it was around the episode where they, um, they, they showed Luffy going fourth gear. Already, I've already seen that in the manga because I caught up to the manga, like, to the point that it was at. And then I was just watching the anime, like, to see it come out. And the, the episode that I was watching was when Luffy first transformed into fourth gear. And to be honest, it's how you watch One Piece. Some people may feel like it's better in the manga because of the pacing so that they can catch it quicker. Other people may feel like the anime gives you the better experience because the OST, the music, um, the voice acting, the emotion of the voice actors when they're, when they're voice acting. Me, personally, I feel like with the way Toei do it, I feel like watching it weekly is not a good idea due to the fact that the way their episodes are done, it can, it can, it can sometimes feel like some things are not happening, like there's lack of progression. 
um, lack of um, improvement, lack of the story actually uh, advancing. But if you were to watch it in bulks and in a row, you wouldn't feel that issue. Obviously, things would feel dragged out. Obviously, things would feel long. But the issue wouldn't be as bad because you're not just looking at it from a weekly point of view. You're looking at it from an arc point of view. You're not just reviewing it in terms of episode by episode. You're reviewing it in terms of arcs by arc. Like, for some people, they say the same with Dragon Ball Super, that it's good watching in a row. Some people say Dragon Ball Super is terrible watching weekly because some things feel like they happen way too fast. But with One Piece, me, it depends how willing you are to get into the series. If you really want to get into the series, if you really want to see how interesting One Piece is and how, why people like it, then you got to give it a chance. You can't just go in there with high expectations, watching massive explosions happening, watching um, freaking uh, Luffy using the gears, watching fights that are on the level of Rob Lucci versus Luffy. Because even Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, did not start off with fights that, that great at the beginning. It's, it's just about you taking your time, being willing to uh, watch the series and being willing to actually try and get into the series. But for some people, the art style could be an issue. And Venge, let me, let, me, let me give you a question. When it came to the anime of One Piece, was the art style a turning off point? Like, did the art style of One Piece turn you off to the point that, like, how am I going to watch this? Like, I don't like the way the characters look. Was it that bad? Because a lot of people say that they did not... Get, they can't get into One Piece because the art style at the beginning is way too derpy. But as it gets to time skip, they start to see why people like it because you got the character designs of, or like I would say around pre time skip, time skip. Like you got the character designs of the likes of Law, um, Kid, um, like uh, Kaido. Uh, you got crazy character designs like that. Like, what was your first impressions of the art style of One Piece? Okay, now I'm glad you asked. <laughs> this is so <laughs> it, like like when I first heard of One Piece, right? I was actually into Naruto because around that time Dragon Ball Dragon Ball was pretty much done and over with. Dragon Ball Z to be more exact. And I saw pictures of One Piece, right? And like it was like at one point I wanted to look into it, but during that time it was like when I saw how the characters looked, I, the art style really did kind of turn me off because I felt like it looked too cartoony and too weird. Uh, but that, but this is the thing that I want to get to. So basically I slept on One Piece due to that fact. Like you said, the art style, it did turn me off and it actually stopped me from actually looking into it early. Um, so it was more like, when I was following your channel and you were talking about it, then my boy Flash was talking about it, and you had you guys had a lot to say, and it got me curious as to how good One Piece is. Uh, then I also got a little inside influence from Zach. Um, um, I forgot what he called himself, something like the Taskmaster or something like that from a long time ago. And it was like with all of that and following your channel and how you was hyping up One Piece like earlier on in your YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, your YouTube journey, it just got me curious. And so I decided to watch it. And I would say the when I first started watching it, it felt like the, you know, like the series definitely aged especially during the earlier episodes because back then you know that's how the quality was it looked old but like you said as you continue to watch it it's like the look of the series the series excuse me actually evolves it actually looks cleaner looks sharper more detailed and um you you begin to appreciate it and one of the things that i really thought was dope about one piece that i didn't see much of in the other series like uh dragon ball and naruto the cool thing about one piece is as you're watching they never wear the same clothes all, the entire time eventually they usually change their gear every every arc almost or every few episodes and i found it pretty dope i thought it was amazing 
it's sometimes it's the subtle details they can add on to you know your experience mm-hmm. i um i totally see that so when it comes to like the character design adventure i've got another question for you like have you noticed how like compared to the big three one piece has a wider range of characters in terms of the design i know dragon ball super kind of does it a bit but in terms of one piece designs you got characters like luffy to akainu to um to law to virgo to even people like capone <laughs> like the character design is so vast is that one of the things that got you more interested into one piece like sort of like thing I would say that was pretty yeah i would say that's pretty accurate because it was pretty unique like so many different characters man and so many different designs and the fact that even those characters would go into like costume changes to add on to that mm -hmm. yeah they definitely they're always changing it up they're never the same and uh, you know that is something that grabbed me because like i say sometimes it's the subtle those subtle changes that literally just makes it that much more engaging mm -hmm. um another thing that why people don't really like are so keen on one piece they feel like um they need to catch up and it's more of a, a patience with one piece like if you're patient with one piece you catch up with one piece because like when i say one piece isn't for everyone i feel like anyone can get into one piece like that's that's inevitable it's more so for the people that are willing to give the art style a chance the goofy designs a chance the overall plot of one piece a chance like one piece is one of those series that if you give it a chance you're most likely so gonna like it some parts may be slower than others but like the anime the anime mainly does have most of the issues but overall I would watch the anime because like not not the whole thing i mean like at least at least catch up through the anime and then switch over to manga or you can do vice versa it's up to you but either way you get, you're gonna get good experiences out of it obviously the manga is gonna be slightly better especially at time skip compared to the anime especially if you're caught up because you're gonna feel the slow pacing everything's gonna feel a lot slower some things are not gonna get done as well but that's natural it happens with the best of series like look at naruto naruto is so much better in the manga the second half than it is in the in the anime but stuff like that happens as a whole like those are the ways some series are shaped out to be like these series have been running for a long long amount of time on a weekly basis like different people animating the episodes each week like different art styles the animation can be derpy especially especially with one piece and dragon ball you guys seen them them off-frame models <laughs> they could be derpy <laughs> as hell but yeah. like as a whole like i do not me personally i do not feel like it's too late to catch a one piece it's all about whether you're dedicated to like watching the series like i wouldn't say it's a massive commitment because there's no hurry in terms of catching up like but some people want to catch up just to know what's happened because of the hype where they see people on twitter go oh my gosh goda 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 oda does it again oda does it again oda has no chill i did not see that happening oh the foreshadowing the foreshadowing like you know veg how like one piece is labeled like out of the big three or like when it comes to showing the anime though like the foreshadowing king because of the stuff that older does the hints you don't see it as hints until it actually happens and then you see the reference and then you look back on it like oh my gosh like have you ever rewatched the arc of one piece and or like re like rewatch and then you see something of foreshadowing but you don't realize it like you see a foreshadowing more and more so like i was re-watching saba odi and they were already talking about the smile factory and this was before marine Ford, and this was way before because think about it, time skip you don't see the smile factory until like you get to dress rose or slash no until you get to like punk hazard so seeing them mention it like the the, the evidence of that happening is already there so it's dope to see that as well and that uh, yeah you got anything else to add to that yes just like how the mentioning of hockey because you don't even understand what hockey is you just hear it and this was like during pre time skip this was before time skip like well before time skip and wait 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 yes it actually was before time skip because like they mentioned it in marie at marine ford and you're like what on earth is hockey and you see it later and then it's like Oh, that's hockey. You find it kind of, and I found it kind of weird at first because 
of the simple fact that you would think hockey is something that would be explained earlier exactly. in the series. Kind of like, I'm talking like way back in the uh, freaking when the series first started. You know how like back in... Like, Romance Dawn? Was, right, like either Romance Dawn or a little ways after that. Because when you look at like Dragon Ball Z and Naruto, they would make sure to explain that earlier on. And yeah. They didn't do that with One Piece. Because like, now that I think about it, there was even Skypea. Exactly, with Anuru. <laughs> with yes, Anuru and Montara. Right, yes, Montara. And, and you don't even understand what the heck that is, but it's so interesting how they bring all of this stuff together. And what Montara was, that's basically the more ancient way of saying observation hockey. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what on earth is hockey? And then you find out later in time skipping, you're like, oh, wow. It just has a very unique structure exactly. compared to the other shonen anime. I'm not trying to shit on the other shonen anime or anything like that, but there's just a different form of structure as you said. Mm -hmm. And with that said, I mean, it's best not to rush through One Piece because it would be more of a journey rather than a chore because you will get the rewards if you do it in that fashion. Like, there's somebody that um, I talk to at my job and he's getting into One Piece, <laughs> which, which was freaking crazy. And then when, you know, when I get the chance to talk to him, he's literally sharing what he learned and he's feeling the hype. He was even talking about Ace. So um, he encountered Ace. Like, you know, when Luffy met Ace. Yeah, that was that. Yeah. And he was like, man, I can't wait to see um, what's going to happen with Ace. Because I know Ace is going to be a big part in the story. Like, I would like to see what he's going to do and how they're going to interact. And boy, oh boy, is he going to be in for a big, big awakening at marine ford and i heard myself peeking in your mic <laughs> <laughs> uh but um what i would say as well in addition to that like with one piece is like like you said like i got a friend as well he, he like he got into one i even said to him i was like you will never watch one piece that series is far too long for you and this man the next day i i, I go i go to the library i see this man watching one piece and then like as he's catching up, I see this man starting to come in with to come into college with red eyes. I was like, "What's wrong?" He's like, "One Piece, it's so good." <laughs> I was like, "Bro," I was like, "I was like, if you don't need the assignments, like, nah, fam." <laughs> you mean you? This man, like, like One Piece, it, it can take long to catch up, but it can also take quite a bit to catch up. If you skip the filler, if you skip all the all the um, all the stuff that is not canon material you can catch up you can catch up really quickly i like what Venge said like some people and even swag can't get brought up in this in his video because the way one piece is structured so differently because people mainly think that the power in one piece is going to be certain and around devil but when you bring hockey into the equation for some people that are outside the mix it can be really confusing and it cannot make any sense to other people you know what i mean yeah and um that's what One Piece does. Like in terms, of, in terms of some people, it might feel confused. It might have too much lore. It might feel like too many episodes to swallow in at once. Like it might be too much. But like, like, like we were saying, just take it one step at a time. If you want to watch it, if you don't want to watch it, then that's up to you. Like you're missing out, I could guess. But like what Roger said, there's always, there's like a thing with. There's rarely. There's, like, you, will, you are rare. You will, you will find it hard to see anyone that has seen all of the big three. Dragon Ball, Naruto, and One Piece. Like, for the most part, you rarely, you you either see someone that picked one or someone that just saw Dragon Ball Z and Naruto. If you see people that see the three, they're, they're a rare breed, if you know what I mean, Ben. <laughs> like, you rarely see people that pick, like, one of the big three, like, if you know what I mean. But, uh, Venge, I got a question for you. And it's probably my final question that I have for you. What would you suggest to watch? Anime or like read the manga? Like would you suggest to, to read it or to watch it? Like what would you suggest? And if there's arcs that should be read, what arcs would you say? I'm, I know you are saying that the arcs that you read, you're going to go back and watch them as well. But like, yeah. what's your overall stance on this? Oh, this is so freaking hard. This is so hard because 
because like me, I'm kind of juggle between both and I see the value of both. But like, I would put it to you this way. It kind of like depends on the person. If you're that person that just really, 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 really want to get caught up super fast, then I guess I would say that I would advise you to read it. And then after you read it, you know, you could go ahead and watch it. Um, so it to, for me, it depends on the person. Now, as far as the arcs to look out for, that arc that I would highly recommend, that's really tough because like, it's like every arc has something to offer. Um, but if I was to say the arc to look out for, now I would highly suggest that it would have to be is either going to be between Water 7 or Marine Ford. The um, reason why I would say Marine Ford, though, the reason why I would say that's the biggest one, because that has, like, the biggest... T it, to me, that was, like, the biggest turning point. When I look at Marine Ford, I feel like Marine Ford was is that arc that literally builds up the story. It's like you have the beginning... And I feel like Marine Ford was more is the climax stage of the series where everything is starting to come together. And this one thing is going to create the meaning for the rest of the series. Like it's just going to bring it together, especially when it comes to Luffy himself. It's going to create this big goal, this big objective for Luffy. Like it's a defining point for Luffy. It's just that huge. So mm -hmm. I would go with Marine Ford. It, Wait, in terms of reading or, or watching, like what was what, what are you saying? Like I would say both. Read and watch. I'm not even going to lie to you on that. But watching if you have to do one like I was gonna say, oh. if you have to do one first, because like if you've already seen it, the impact of it is not gonna be as big, if you know what I mean. Like, like what so would you maybe Oh, so either read it or watch it. Yeah, yeah. Which one would like if you had to do one first? Because if you say both, like which one would you have to? Which one would you suggest to do first? See, this is why I say this is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> me, but, like, I was just gonna quickly put out there before you say what you're gonna say. Uh, me, I would prefer to um, watch it, especially Marine Ford and Annie's Lobby. I would prefer to watch it because the fights are good and the stuff that happens. I thought with the OST and everything, I feel like the emotional attachment is is more so there one is there obviously it's there in the manga either way you're gonna get emotional attachments but with the ost and all that stuff with it it helps it pushes it a lot more but that's what i'm gonna say but like say what you're gonna say but both of them are good though oh it's so fucking hard i'm not even gonna lie to you <laughs> i never chose it that way i literally read it and watched it so it's like hard but i guess i would say this if you really want to like take your time and really get a lot of meaning out of it because there is some things that they just will not show you in the anime because they censored it it was one big one because i didn't know it until i, I know because i watched it first then i went back and read yeah i saw that as well i was like um i can see why they did that it's not a massive issue but uh, it would have been dope if they added that in. <laughs> yeah so i would suggest reading it because it's like, in my opinion, when I look at Impel Down and Marine Ford, there's a lot of meaning in that arc. And by reading it, you kind of like get to take your time and let it all soak in. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would say that. That's the best reasoning that I can come up with at such short notice. Was this, this is unscripted, by the way, guys. We did not plan this. We just dived in. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um i feel like uh what was i gonna say oh yeah um just on top of that um there's some stuff that we should put out there that you guys should be aware of when um when watching one piece if you're planning on watching one piece because toy do some stuff and i don't want you guys to be surprised about it so recaps are gonna be there at a certain point and when i mean recaps they recap they try and recap the story the best they can so that newcomers can watch it from that point onwards. Obviously, the recap ain't going to be that glorious and amazing. But sometimes it, it will take a while for the episodes to actually start. Not <laughs> only that, um, I think that's pretty much the main one. The animation can dip. Other than that, those are the two main things. And the pacing. 
no, I like that. Those are two main things you go watch out for. And Annie's lobby, actually, we're not. Yeah, wait. Uh, Impel down. I would suggest um, reading that part because the whole level system and it just feels like it's like going on for ages and dragging out the way they did in the anime. But other than that, that's pretty much what I got to say. Ben, you got anything to to that you should say that should, that um, people should be aware of when getting into One Piece and some stuff that could be there that they should know already in terms of like what could like is a iffy point about one piece that's a really tough one because i think you really like nailed it in terms of what the iffy stuff is um if anything i will say this this isn't necessarily an iffy thing but it's something that you should pay close attention to because this is a big part of One Piece and that's the actual, the way the characters are designed. Cause I've failed to mention that, I forgot about that. Like it's, it may seem weird to you and it would make absolutely no sense sometimes the way the characters abil abilities are explained or designed. Cause I mean, let's face it, there are some abilities that are absolutely strange and you would think, how is that even going to be useful? Because like there were a lot of times I would actually say, how on the, how in the fudging hell is the ability to create biscuits going to be of any use? You know, that's just a quick example of how ridiculous uh, some of the powers are. Um, even though the powers seem very strange, pay attention to why they're being used. Like, uh, th that's a big one. Because, like, understanding the types will make it that much more enjoyable because there's different double fruit types. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you should pay close attention to what those types are and what they do because it just makes it that much more engaging and you'll understand things a lot better. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And pretty much, that's pretty much everything in terms of uh, whether it's too long to catch up to One Piece and whether... You can still catch up to One Piece, obviously you still can, like, it's, it's not impossible. But other than that, just don't watch 4Kids and then you'll, you should be good. Yeah, that's pretty much it, just stay away from 4Kids. You should be fine. At that point. But anyway guys, uh, make sure you check out Benj for Woolbug's channel, link will be in the description below. I highly recommend it, and yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please leave a like rating if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, this UK Trotler Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.